Hey, what's up, gang? It's Terrell Thur here, and today is March the 14th, 2015. That makes it my 32nd birthday today. Woo! Yay! Woo! All right, 32 years uh, in the books. Hopefully a lot more to go. So what I decided to get myself for my 32nd birthday to make sure that a lot more to go part of the birthdays keeps true is I've decided to uh, switch things up a little bit with my lifestyle. Uh, as most of you know, uh, six months ago, uh, I went vegan. Uh, the trigger for me going vegan was there was a friend of mine in high school I found out on Facebook uh, ended up dying of a heart attack. And I'm like, oh, geez. This uh, skinny, hot-looking girl that I went to high school with, not even really in her 30s, ended up dropping dead of a heart attack. And I'm sitting here at 320 pounds, stuffing my face with the standard American diet. And I'm fairly lucky to not be in the situation that she's in right now. I gotta do something about this. So, what I decided to do in response to that is I knew just from, you know, kind of like casual looking over uh, YouTube and the internet in general, is that I knew uh, that, you know, vegans, vegetarians had very, very low uh, rates of heart disease. Uh, so that's what I decided to do to make sure I didn't end up like my friend who just uh, croaked over dead at, you know, barely 30. Now, I was able to lose uh, some weight without uh, too much trouble. I went from 320 down to about uh, 300, which is where I am about now. I'm hovering around 300 pounds. And it, it didn't take much at all. Just getting rid of the, the meats and the animal products was enough to, to get that down there. But, you know, as I'm living proof of, you can still be a fat vegan. It's very, very easy. There's all kinds of vegan junk food out there. I mean, you can there's potato chips out there. There's, like, Oreos in the United States are vegan. Uh, the uh, sweet chili Doritos are actually the only vegan flavor of Doritos. So, you know, that's what I did for a little while. And I also had uh, some of the, oh, I was also a big fan of the diet cheese. Oh, God, that stuff is freaking amazing. It reminded me of the real cheese without having to, you know, actually eat the animal products. So I didn't feel as bad about it. Uh, but it stalled uh, my weight loss here around uh, 300 pounds. So this is where I'm stuck right now. So I did some more searching uh, on the internet, and I came across uh, two upstanding YouTubers, uh, Freely the Banana Girl and uh, Durian Rider, uh, who are advocates of something called a raw till four uh, lifestyle. Basically what that means is that uh, you'd end up eating uh, uncooked food uh, up until your uh, last meal of the day, and then you'd have a you know, cooked dinner, and then that's how you, that's how you go. So it's uh, a lot of fruit, a lot of carbs, in fact, uh, I love the uh, love Durian Riders' little uh, slogan there: "Carb the fuck up." There you go. And so that's what I've been doing for since yesterday, uh, actually. Uh, and the thing is, I've had to do a lot of stuff at the apartment here. I've basically had to clean out everything uh, in here. I've moved a lot of furniture, and I'm going to tell you something. I don't feel very sore right now uh, at all because I don't remember last time I had to do that I couldn't walk for like two days so I know there's something to this raw till four thing is when I'm not in complete pain uh, after doing pre spending pretty much an entire day you know moving furniture and cleaning which would normally just wipe me out and so that's one reason uh, why I wanted to go uh, try this raw tail four thing there's a couple other reasons uh one is going to be that uh you know you're not a very effective vegan ambassador at 300 pounds because you're gonna walk up to somebody it's like hey you know what i got the doing the greatest thing ever for you you know if you just stop eating all these foods you love like the the meat the cheese the eggs the dairy i mean you can get healthy and have so much more energy that they look at me and it's like you fat fuck shut the hell up you're 300 pounds what the hell do you know so we got to fix that. And uh, the other reason, and this is really the point of this uh, video, is uh, most of you here uh, that are going to be watching this are watching this because you're gamers. Okay, you're either here for my Twitch live stream or uh, you've uh, seen me before in the past with my shoutcasting of Dawngate or maybe even from my Warhammer Online days. And what I want to talk about is how diet affects gaming performance. And this is this is another reason to do uh, the Raw Tail 4 thing. If you look at the esports scene in general, what area of the world dominates the esports scene in 
pretty much most games. We're going to exception Hearthstone here. We're going to take the Hearthstone out of the picture. But other than Hearthstone, who pretty much runs the esports scene? It's the Asians, right? The Koreans, the Chinese. And you have the Americans and the Europeans. They're kind of left kind of in the dust. I mean, it's just like not even close most times. So why do you suppose that is? Well, I've got one theory. My theory is it has to do with the diets of the two regions. If you go over to rural Asia, you're going to see people living on diets that are predominantly rice and vegetables with some fruit mixed in. And trim, fit, healthy people. You come over to the European Union and the Americas, what are you going to predominantly see? You're going to see people living on the standard American diet, you know, stuffing their face with uh, meat, cheese, eggs, and dairy. Maybe the occasional fruit and vegetable to go with it. And you're going to find the majority of people uh, overweight and quite a few people who are obese. But you're telling me, Terrellther, well, esports is a, is a mental game. It's all in the head, whether or not, you know, your physical performance doesn't have much to do with it. I'll grant you that it's all uh, in the head. Yeah, there's some Twitch things that happen uh, in esports, but it is indeed mostly a mental game, yes. However, the brain runs on one fuel, and one fuel only, and that's glucose. Do you think? Maybe, just maybe. The reason that the Asians are kicking our asses in esports is that their brains are properly fueled and ours aren't. What would happen if there was an American or European team with the work ethic of the Asian esports teams that carved the fuck up too? Do you think that'd be a hell of a game to watch? I think it might be. So anyway, guys, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing this uh, Raw Tail 4 thing. I am going to be doing videos, like, uh, hopefully every other day. I want to be able to be able to do these uh, daily, but work is killing me right now. So it's probably going to have to be every other day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, if you liked the video. Go check out Freely and Durian right I'll put links to their channels uh, in the descriptions. And until next time, guys, peace.